Hello, my name is Patrick Owen from the Derry KT team. And in this short video, we just want to go through calculating the break even milk point for your farm. The break even milk point is defined as the base price, that is, the milk price at 3.3% protein and 3.6% butter fat you need to receive from your co op to allow you to pay all bills associated to your farm. The break even point will be individual to each farm, as each farm will have a different cost structure, output, be at a different stage of development and will require different money to run the family, fa family household. The break even point will help identify the base price below which the farm will potentially have liquidity problems. That is, if the milk price drops below your break even point, the farm may struggle to pay all bills in that year. Knowing your break even is essential, especially in a low milk price year, as it can help identify when the farm may have issues with cash flow. The break even should be completed annually as it can change from year to year. In calculating the break even point, we look at all cash receipts, and this includes milk sales, stock sales, basic payment and other supports, plus other farm income. On the outgoings, we look at all cash expenses, including drawings, that's the money taken from the farm to run the family home, tax, full repayments to the bank, and capital investment taken from cash flow, and all farm operating costs. That's the cost associated with running your farm business. And to calculate the break even, we take the all cash payments away from all cash receipts, and this will give us surplus cash. And we'll divide the surplus cash by the total liters of milk supplied to the co op during the year. And this will give us the surplus cash in cent per litre. So that is the surplus cash from your farm divided by your total litre supplied to the co op, and we'll get your surplus cash in cent per litre. We now know how much surplus cash you have. What we need to figure is the break even point. And to do this, we need to know the average milk price received for, the, for, your, for your farm last year. We take away the surplus cash we've already figured out. And this will give us the break even point before we allow for fat and protein. And through this, we need to figure out the value of your milk above the base. So that is the value of your milk price above the base price. So higher fat and protein milk will um, demand a higher price. And lower um, fat and protein milk will demand a lower milk price. When we take the surplus cash, and the value of your milk above the base away from the average milk price received we will get the farm break even point and that is the base price that is the base price the co-op needs to pay the farm to cover all costs associated to the farm so when we look at the break even point what increases the farm's break even point and so high cost systems obviously will increase your cash payments out of the farm and increase your break even point low output will reduce the income and therefore reduce the amount of surplus cash and increase the far farm break even point. Low milk value will increase it because you'll have a lower value for your milk, which will require a higher base price to pay all the costs. Higher repayments, capital expenditure taken from cash flow. So if you're t doing a lot of development work and not borrowing for it and doing it out cash flow, that'll have a significant impact on your farm break even point. The tax position of the farm will potentially have a large draw on cash, which will increase your farm break even. And drawings figure, so some farms have higher drawings because of the stage their children at, maybe the kids going to college or mortgages, and they will also increase the farm break even. If you have a high break even point, what should you do? So in all cases, we should always remember best practice and run your farm is essential. What we deem by best practice is maximizing the output from grazed grass, and maximizing the genetic merit of your cows. If your break even is high, high however, prioritize expenses which will give you a high return. So, for example, putting lime on fertilizer on your farm will potentially grow more grass, which will reduce your feed costs, which can bring down your break even point. If you have a high break even point, you should suspend all capital expenditure from cash flow, as there may not be cash in the business to pay do this work out of cash flow. Know your tax position early to, um, and so you can help mitigate against it or plan for it. And you always have the option to talk to the banks. And there's a number of options within the banks to help you um, to reduce your break even point, such as interest only loan options or retrospective finance of capital expenditure. Chagas have a 
simple Excel calculator that can help you determine your own break-even point for your farm. Thank you.